So let's talk about the third one, caching end to end. Why is this so important? Well, first off, the value of caching is really important because you don't want your user to have a bad experience with your application because of speed of light. It's really important that you make sure that the content that they're experiencing comes from a location as close to them as possible. Because as you can see in the chart here, that the further you are from them, the more they're going to experience speed of light in the form of latency, which means that it's going to take longer for content to load, for their request to be fulfilled, and for you to be able to achieve your objectives with them and to keep them engaged with you. So first and foremost, you're going to want to cache as close to them as possible. And that doesn't just mean a content delivery network. That means caching everywhere you possibly can. If you're using a mobile application, you want to cache in the application. If you can cache in their local browser's cache, do that. But then you want to also think about the content delivery network and being where you need to be geographically. And then you want to think about within your application. You probably want to put caches in front of the database because a lot of the content that will be coming out of there will be read only. In which case you want to be able to be serving that from a caching layer, not burdening the database with having to deliver that out. Same true with anything that comes out of the application layer that can be delivered multiple times to the web servers. That content doesn't need to be looked up again and again and again, so cache it and deliver it out. The more you leverage caching, the faster and more seamless the experience will be for your end users.